Welcome to a new vlog. It's been a while since we reviewed a handheld thermal camera, so today we'll be taking a closer look at the Kaiwitz KTI W02, which they kindly sent in for the purpose of this review. And while the camera was offered for free, there is no payment exchange, so I'll be offering you my honest thoughts on this unit. And if you stick around to the end of the review, you'll get to see some special Vollog discount codes, which you can use to order this camera. Uh, either from Amazon or the Kaiwitz website and save some money. Packaging looks very good and uh, feels premium. And inside the box, uh, we get some uh, paperwork uh, in this uh, black envelope, but we're not interested in that. Then we have this uh, EVA uh, carry case, which is always uh, very nice to have on any uh, instrument because without one, how are you going to store or carry your ca camera? You're either gonna have to purchase one um, separately or just improvise. And inside this carry case, we have the camera itself. Uh, the body of the camera is all plastic. It's not the best feeling plastic, it's just okay quality. Uh, there are no rubberized parts around it. Uh, but it does have these uh, recessed areas around the display area and around the front of the camera to protect those zones from being you know hit or scratched so it feels quite compact but because it's not having all of that extra rubber over molding this feels pretty uh, small and i like that for comparison my unity uh, uti 260b although it's not necessarily a lot heavier. It does feel uh, like it's a lot more uh, bulky, but you do get this uh, nice rubber over molding, which helps protect the camera better. Uh, the Kaiwitz comes with this uh, lanyard attachment. And uh, inside this box, we also get a uh, short USB type C to USB type A cable, which can be used to uh, charge the uh, internal battery and to connect it to a computer. And I'll get to the computer connection part later on in the video because the Kaiwitz does offer some Windows software for this. And you also get this very decent looking uh, USB power supply, which is rated for 5 volts and 2 amps. And uh, mine came with this uh, EU compatible uh, two prong connector but you'll probably get these uh, shipped depending on your location on the top of the camera we get this uh, rubber cover which hides the usb type c and the micro sd card slot and on the bottom of the handle we have a tripod mount uh, which is a nice feature to have on the front we have the ir uh, camera lens the visible image uh, camera lens um, a uh, laser pointer and a white LED flashlight. Powering on the uh, camera sets a very good first impression because the boot time is just one second. That is unbelievably fast and nice because I've been used to having these you know 20 seconds boot times with the Unity uh, UTI 260B so this Skywitz camera is clearly using a more you know, capable processor inside, which is optimized and enables this super fast boot time. So, like I mentioned, a very good first impression when powering on the camera, because who doesn't like a nice fast boot time? In terms of specs, I'll uh, quickly uh, mention the most important ones for uh, this camera. The thermal sensor uh, resolution is 256 by 192 pixels. It's likely the same infrared sensor that old thermal camera seems to be using uh, these days, including the Unity that I previously reviewed here on the channel. The uh, temperature measurement range should be minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 550 degrees Celsius, which is a very good range for this class of device. It does have multiple display modes. It can show just the thermal image, just the visual image. It can do fusion between the two, or it can also do a picture in picture and we'll take a look at that later. Frame rate is uh, 25 Hertz, uh, which again is uh, very respectable for this uh, class of device. The claimed battery life is 16 hours with a 2.5 hour 
a fast charge time that's excellent and the camera is rated for ip54 dust and water resistance with a 2 meter drop rating as well the screen resolution is 2.4 inch with 240 by 320 resolution so the general specs are very good and towards the end of this this video for my um, uh, end conclusion we'll do a uh, a full on comparison with the unity uh, uti 260b as far as i could tell from the kaiwitz website there is no uh, macro lens available from kaiwitz uh, whereas with the uh, unity you can get the special macro lens offered by unity which allows you to inspect stuff closer than 30 centimeters and that would enable you to inspect pcbs for example for electronics work However, I think it's important to mention that I don't think Kaiwitz is the OEM for this camera. They don't actually manufacture it. I think you can probably find this sold under a different brand name as well. And because of that, there are already some uh, you know, DIY 3D printed aftermarket macro lens options available online. So you can either you know, build one yourself or you can order one which is already 3D printed for you. They won't be of the same overall quality as uh, this one from unity which is like injection molded uh, and also be aware that if you decide to get this camera from a different brand it may not benefit from the same three-year warranty that kaiwitz is offering and it may not come delivered with the same accessories and the same level of quality control and if you do decide to order this exact one from kaiwitz that i'm showing you should check out the links in the description and the special voting discount codes so let's try to use this camera and give you a sense of the image quality you can expect or the various functions that are available by clicking the up and uh, down buttons you can quickly switch between the uh, different viewing modes um, this myth mode is the image fusion algorithm that just uh, you know tries to uh, mix in the visual with the ir image and it does a decent job but in my opinion it, it's still not great because you know i can show you you can see here you know my hand uh, the fingers are not really aligned and right now i do have it set to a distance of 30 centimeters under uh, the uh, settings menu but it doesn't seem to be taking that setting into account in the fusion algorithm the uh, left key uh, can be used to open the menu and to do selections with the ok function and here we have the entire menu system you can uh, you know check out the gallery of captured image you can set the temperature range the emissivity uh, you can choose a different uh, color palette if you don't like the default one for the ir image you can enable or disable the center point measurement you can set an alarm for a temperature threshold you can set the reference um, uh, temperature you can do a region of interest uh, measurement you can set the um, distance at which you're measuring uh, you can change the measurement unit you can uh, enable or disable the auto power of uh, function which works uh, by a time delay you can adjust the screen brightness you can turn on or off the laser pointer or the flashlight you can adjust the date and time the uh, language or you can reset to factory defaults format the sd cards you can set the picture in picture transparency you can select the visual camera resolution and i believe this is the uh, maximum setting you can uh, adjust the usb mode connection from uh, being a, a camera feed or a mass storage device and the last option uh, gives some information about the version of uh, firmware and uh, hardware that i'm running here and i can say that the menu system is overall very clear and works as expected and you can hit this right key which works as a, a back key to go back to the previous uh, menu settings and if you want to capture an image uh, you just uh, press the trigger here and then uh, it will ask you for a confirmation if, if you press the trigger again it will save the image or you can just discard uh, the image by hitting the back key and then you can capture a new one there is no way to capture 
uh, video uh, with this camera as far as I can tell and there is no way to have more than that you know center point uh, measurement working on screen and this is something that the Unity does much better by giving you up to three measurement points plus the center point plus auto tracking for high and low spots uh, which is very useful to have but we don't seem to get that uh, on this camera. Overall, the camera does provide you with a good infrared image with good refresh rate, which will be sufficient for most inspection jobs. Uh, for example, while looking at some electrical equipment for automotive application, for solar panel inspection, for you know, pipe work inspection, HVAC inspection. Uh, but same as the Unity on its own without a macro lens, it cannot provide enough details uh, for modern uh, small electronics printed circuit boards. So if you plan to use this for electronics work, you'll have to consider the added cost of getting a macro lens, which is not currently available from Kaiwitz. And while pressing the trigger on the camera, we can also see the flashlight and the laser pointer uh, turn on if they are enabled. Here is, for example, the level of detail that you can expect while inspecting a uh, PCB. And during editing, I'll try to overlay some images captured during this test so you can view the full resolution that the camera has to offer. And here is, for example, the level of detail that you can expect while doing some electrical panel inspection. It just feels like the camera is definitely adequate for the job. And I could definitely measure and pinpoint a hotspot in this electrical panel with the given resolution and the level of detail that this sensor offer. In terms of uh, the uh, PC app, I did download the provided Windows app called Thermal Tools. However, I could only get it to work as a view um, and analysis tool for already recorded images stored on the SD card. So it can be useful for that as it allows you to do all sorts of measurements. But myself, if I'm going to use a thermal camera, I would like to have an app that gives me live access and live measurements to the camera. Uh, it's not uh, as useful for me to have to record and then go back to the computer for analysis. But depending on the uh, usage scenario that you're looking at, that might work for you. Personally, I just need real-time analysis if you're going to offer me a PC connection. Uh, that's what I want. So br this brings me to my conclusion about this camera. And I'll start by mentioning that I very much like the fact that it feels very compact. It's lighter, less bulky, has way more battery life, charges faster, includes a carry case by default. and has a freaking one second boot time, which is awesome. But um, I'll have to answer the question of would I choose this over the Unity and the answer is it depends uh, and here's why it depends and also uh, these are the questions that uh, you would need to ask yourself when making the choice. Now the image quality will be very similar between the two but if you need the highest battery life with the lowest charging time then you'll have to go for the Kaiwitz. Now if you want a package that includes you know the carry case and is overall a smaller camera uh, with a quick boot time. Again, the Kaiwitz wins. But if you want a camera that's more rugged with a better uh, ingress rating of IP65 versus IP54 with a slightly bigger display of 2.8 inch versus 2.4 inch and more measurement points on screen, then you would have to go for the Unity. Price-wise, they will be very similarly priced depending on where you choose to order from. And by the time you include a hard EVA case for the Unity, it just ends up costing the same as the Kaiwitz. And if you're interested in all of these comparison points, I created this comparison chart, which I'll link in the description below, below for you to check it out. And a couple of things that I'd like to remind you before ending this video is that the Kaiwitz brand is offering a so-called care plus program which gives you three years warranty and there is a special discount code for my viewers which i'll put in the description below that with the free shipping they offer should allow you to get this camera for a very good price and that was all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you make the right decision if you're looking to get a new handheld uh, infrared thermal camera make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content ahead Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.